be unstoppable per you and i'm enjoying in my virtual studio with miss nikki Parrish, who's talking about so much i mean she's really spilling the, the knowledge of her music okay. career now we're going to jump in on let's go back a little bit we talked okay. earlier about um miss whitney houston that iconic song that she sung i would always love you i didn't know and i just found this out really that Dolly Parton was the original writer mm -hmm. of that song. She was. And, and Whitney took it to a whole nother level, as we know. Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. So how was your performance singing that song? What did it do for you in your career? Um, well, I've been, when it first came out, I've always done a lot of Whitney from the time she came out, when she first came out with You Give Good Love. Okay. And, um, um, I just knew that this the second time around of competing on Showtime at the Apollo because you're being judged by the by the crowd. I knew I had to pick something that's going to catch their attention immediately and and to also do something that's that's really daring. A lot of a lot of I mean it's it's a lot of Whitney that I don't do. So a lot of singers don't do a lot of Whitney. Whitney is like the ultimate golden voice that of all times, you know, she her her voice has always, will forever be, you know, present. I, I right. just don't ever, I just don't, she will never go away. You know, she was, she will go down in the books in, in, in our history. So I just knew that for me, I had to, to try something that's a little bit challenging and to make sure that, you know, I hit the big note <laughs> to, to, to show my range as well. But it, it was definitely a scary moment, you know, to sing a Whitney song. Right. When you it, it, when you make those attempts on those type of iconic singers, you really people really like, OK, they're almost judging you to the point hard. of that singer. Yeah. And very hard. So that was a brave move on your part. And I, I, I admire you for doing it. <laughs> Thank you. 